Happy Halloween, boys and girls, and thank you for joining me for story time. Today we're reading Duck and Goose, Honk, Quack, Boo by Tad Hills. Duck and Goose sat watching as day slowly became evening. So, Goose, what are you going to be tomorrow? Duck asked. Goose hesitated. Be? Tomorrow? Well, I think I will be myself. Duck, it's important to always be yourself. Very true, Goose, except for tomorrow. Tomorrow is Halloween. It's the day not to be yourself. Suddenly, out of nowhere, Thistle appeared. Did someone say Halloween? I love Halloween. I'm not telling what my costume is. It's a secret, she quacked. As she sped off into the shadows, she called, see you tomorrow and beware of the swamp monster. Goose gulped, swamp monster? Why would she say beware of the swamp monster? Hmm, maybe the swamp monster comes out on Halloween, Duck quacked. Duck. I'm not a fan of monsters. I don't like monsters either, Goose, but I do like trick-or-treating. Later that night, Goose tried not to think about the swamp monster. A shiver ran up his spine as he watched clouds creep across the moon like ghosts. His beak quacked as he listened to the groaning wind rattle the branches. Duck closed his eyes and thought of a bag full of treats. The next day was Halloween. Duck got ready to go trick-or-treating. So did Goose. Meanwhile, Thistle was getting ready too. While Goose waited for Duck, he spotted a scary ghost coming toward him. Hello, Goose, the ghost called. Are you ready to go trick-or-treating? Who are you, Goose honked. It's me, Duck. You look more like a ghost to me, Goose honked. How do I know you're not a ghost? I'm not really a ghost, Duck quacked. Look at my feet. Goose had to admit, no one had feet like Duck. I'd recognize those feet anywhere, he honked. Then let's go, Duck quacked. Do you think we'll see a swamp monster tonight? Goose asked nervously. I hope not, Duck quacked. I hope we see lots of treats. When they reached the edge of the forest, trick-or-treating had already begun. Goose sighed with relief. No monsters in sight. Hello down there, called a squirrel. I see a spooky ghost and a brave superhero. Actually, these are costumes. We are Duck and Goose, honked Goose. Trick or treat, quack Duck. Excuse me, said a friendly Daisy. Did you say you are Duck and Goose? I just met a swamp monster who's looking for you. Goose froze. A swamp monster, he asked. Duck, why would a swamp monster be looking for us? I don't know, Goose, and I don't want to know. Oh, there's the swamp monster now, said the friendly daisy, and it's headed this way. Duck and Goose turned and saw the scariest, slimiest, and most hideous swamp monster ever. It's after us. Run, Duck, run, cried Goose. Duck and Goose took cover. They huddled together and were quiet as they could be. They heard the thump, thump, thump 
of the swamp monster's footsteps getting closer and closer. Oh, duck, Goose groaned. We're goners. The footsteps suddenly stopped. Duck? Goose? Is that you? The swamp monster called. You're right, Goose, Duck whispered. We're doomed. Suddenly, Goose remembered his cape and the G on his chest. Duck, I am a brave superhero, and you are the spookiest ghost I've ever seen. And there are two of us and only one swamp monster, Goose whispered. We can scare it away. And with that, the brave superhero and the spooky ghost leapt out from behind the leafy bush. Goose honked his bravest honk, and Duck quacked his scariest quack. Boo! They hollered together. Yikes! You sure scared me, the swamp monster quacked. I've been looking everywhere for you. Thistle? Goose honked. Is that you, Duck quacked? How do you like my costume, said Thistle. I told you to beware the swamp monster. Pretty scary, aren't I? I've seen scarier, Duck quacked. We don't scare easily, Goose added. Well, that's good, because it's time to go trick-or-treating, Thistle quacked. And so the ghost, the brave superhero, and the scariest, slimiest, most hideous swamp monster ever wandered the forest, filling their bags with Halloween treats. Later, back in the meadow, Duck and Goose sorted through their treats. In the light of the moon, they shared Halloween stories about a masked superhero, a spooky ghost, and a swamp monster who wasn't really that scary after all. The end. Thank you, boys and girls, for joining me for this story time. I hope you have a very happy Halloween. Be safe. And remember, Kingsville, shine bright.